The views expressed in this blog are hosted on my own website, are strictly personal and do not reflect the views of any organization. Hello and welcome friends to Straight Bat, my blog where as the title suggests, I comment with a straight bat. Now, in the last couple of days, much of the focus has been on the BJP's triumph and sweep across the Hindi heartland. As a result, perhaps, the Congress's consolation win, as some are calling it, or Southern Comfort by winning Telangana has gone largely unnoticed. But make no mistake, this is a significant victory for the Congress party, winning Telangana and ending KCR, K. Chandrasekhar Rao's nine-year rule in India's newest state. How did the Congress manage it? Let me bring you the inside story. Number one is K. Chandrasekhar Rao hubris or arrogance. KCR is a charismatic canny leader. But even charismatic canny leaders have to realize no one is invincible. Somewhere K. Chandrasekhar Rao became a victim of his own image as this larger than life Telangana leader. He thought he had an emotional connect with the voters that would never end. As a result, he made a few crucial mistakes. None bigger than the fact that he decided he would repeat most of his MLAs, forgetting that there was growing anti-incumbency against those MLAs. Only seven sitting MLAs were dropped. I can tell you for a fact that there were aides of KCR urging him, drop sir 25 to 30 MLAs. KCR refused. He chose to stay loyal to his MLAs rather than realize the ground realities. He chose to pitch himself as a national leader of a Bharat Rashtra Samiti, forgetting that the ground in his home state was slipping under his feet. That was the crucial mistake that KCR made. He became caught in this image as a result of being a farmhouse neta, inaccessible to voters, even as the opposition started making serious charges of corruption and family Raj in Telangana. That was KCR's big mistake. On the other side, the Congress got its ground game right for once. That's right, the much maligned Congress that can't get its act together in the Hindi heartland got its act together here south of the Vindhyas in Telangana. How? A. They pitched in Revant Reddy, a leader who was ready to take the battle into the enemy camp. You see, Revant Reddy is the kind of pugnacious street fighter leader that the Congress so desperately needs in North India. Here was someone ready to go to jail. He was even sent to jail while his daughter's wedding was on and had to get bail at the last moment. Revant Reddy was willing to take the battle into the KCR camp, unlike a previous generation of Congress leaders who were often ready to switch sides or get easily co-opted. The Congress also had in Telangana an election strategist, Sunil Kanogulu, who has become part of the system. He was the one who did the surveys. He was given full independence to decide to a large extent on candidate selection on election strategy, focusing in particular on rural Telangana where this election was eventually won by the Congress. Now think about this and let me tell you, Sunil Kanogulu was also put in charge of Madhya Pradesh, but Kamal Nath had a, some kind of a fight with him and Sunil's role was limited in Madhya Pradesh. On the other hand, in Telangana, he was given a free hand and that enabled the Congress to plot its strategy. To give you one example, there is barely a 1.5 to 2% Christian vote in Telangana. But Sunil Kanogulu was able to bring together Christian pastors from different churches and convince them of the need to vote to, to support the Congress in this election. That level of micromanagement, choosing the candidates, where rally should take place, Sunil Kanogulu played a very important role in the Congress's success in Telangana. Number three factor that needs to be looked at is the BJP and the BRS. There were rumors spread very, very 
cleverly and craftily by the Congress that there is a ground level tie up. When K. Kavita, daughter of KCR, was accused in the liquor scam and then seemingly the ED went soft on the investigation, the Congress spread reports across Telangana that KCR is in a tie up with the BJP. They even put a coin and sent it to people's homes, one side Modi's picture, the other side KCR's picture. Even letters were sent out through, uh, even a digital campaign was launched to suggest BRS is a B team of the BJP. What did that do? It consolidated crucially the minority vote against the BRS, especially in rural Telangana. And that again raised a question mark over the credibility of KCR, particularly when the Prime Minister also comes to Telangana and says KCR wanted to join the NDA at one time. That was part of the Congress's strategy to suggest sub mile hue hai KCR, BJP, or OVC. Number four, this election turned when the Congress won Karnataka. That gave the Congress momentum and the belief that if we can win Karnataka, maybe we can do it in Telangana. Suddenly you had Karnataka Congress workers and cadres spreading their wings and fanning out outside Telangana to support the party organization there, which was much weaker than what it was in Karnataka. Karnataka also crucially gave the Congress vitamin M money power and the resources to fight an election in Telangana, a state where money does matter. Finally, the Bharat Jodo Yatra. You see, Rahul Gandhi's ground game and narrative clearly has not worked in the Hindi heartland. But the Bharat Jodo Yatra did wend itself through Telangana, not just for two or three days, but eventually for as many as 12 days. What that did is gave, it was a morale booster to the Congress cadres. I don't think Rahul Gandhi's Yatra has won him supporters from the BJP. But what it has done is it gave the Congress south of the Vindhyas a consolidation of their core vote and was a morale booster to the Congress cadres. We saw that to some extent in Karnataka. We've seen that in Telangana. The Bharat Jodo Yatra in that sense has worked electorally and politically in consolidating the Congress voters in these states. And remember the traditional Congress vote bank appears in this election to have returned to it in Telangana. Dalits, Muslims, STs and a section of the backward caste have consolidated. Don't forget that when Indira Gandhi was ousted from power one of the places that she returned back to power was from Medak in this very Telangana. It suggests to me and hopefully to many observers that when you get your ground game right, as the Congress did, you can take on even a strong force like the BRS in Telangana. Can the Congress replicate what it did in Telangana north of the Vindhyas? That's another story for another day. For now, thanks for watching. Do of course subscribe to my YouTube channel for many more such videos. For now, stay well, stay safe. Jai Hind. Namaskar.